Wasn't it Wednesday just a week ago? Funny how that happens. Anyway, remember, these aren't reviews per se. Rather, I'm just taking a look at what's coming out this week in horror on the comic book racks and pontificating a bit about them. Let's see what horrors this week's stack has to offer. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Here's what's new in horror in comic shops today, June 23rd, 2021. Hatchet. Unstoppable Horror Number 1 is from American Mythology Productions. The story is by James Kuhorik, and I don't know who's drawing it. Adam Green's swampy serial killer is back and more menacing than ever. This comic book continues the mayhem from the Hatchet movie series, and with no limitations on budget in comics, I'm hoping Victor Crowley gets to unleash an unimaginable level of carnage. I can't wait. Rabid World Number 2 is from Scout Comics. The story is by Todd Sinani, with art by Oleg Ukinev. With the end of The Walking Dead, there's a bit of a void on the shelves in terms of zombie horror. Though this is a virus comic, those look to be zombies on the cover diving out of an airplane. Color me intrigued. While I know little about this one, Scout Comics has been dropping some great horror, and there's a fun vibe to this one that appeals to me. Vengeance of Vampirella number 19 is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Tom Snigowski, with art by Michael St. Maria. It's the post-apocalypse, and our favorite scantily clad vampy chick, Vampirella, is trying to survive it. From the looks of the cover, it seems Vampy is bending down and trying to pick up a quarter or something. Expect this one to have scores and scores of similarly themed covers from top-tier artists who like to draw pretty ladies. Shadow Man number 3 is from Valiant Entertainment. The story is by Colin Bunn, and the art is by John Davis Hunt. Bunn is doing a great job of making each issue of Shadow Man feel like a one-and-done, yet inching the story forward a skosh every time. John Davis Hunt is providing some electric and ghoulish visuals as well, making Shadow Man one of the few Valiant books I won't miss. Manifest Destiny, number 44, is from Image Comics. The story is by Chris Dingus, with art by Matthew Roberts. I fell off this title a while back, but I loved its initial premise. The book is set during the era of discovery as Lewis and Clark traveled across North America to claim it for the U.S. But this territory is filled with all kinds of cryptids, mysticism, and folkloric creatures that will challenge them on this journey. It looks as if it's wrapping up soon, so it's high time for me to track down some trades and catch up with them. Philadelphia number 14 is from Image Comics. The story is by Rodney Barnes with art by Jason Sean Alexander. Here's what I missed when it first came out. It looks to be a hard-edged detective story set in Philadelphia, but it's also filled with all kinds of maniacs, menaces, and of course, vampires. I keep hearing good things about this one, and the art can't be beat from Jason Sean Alexander. Let me know if you've read this one and how you like it. I'm very curious. Vinyl number one is from Image Comics. The story is by Doug Wagner, with art by Dave Stewart and Daniel Hilliard. I can't wait for this series from colder creator Doug Wagner. Vinyl mixes music with horror, and from the preview pages I've taken a gander at, there's a lot of horror to enjoy here. I'm going into this one knowing as little as possible, simply knowing that it's being birthed by some comic book horror masters, and looks to be a good one. Stray Dogs number 5 is from Image Comics. The story is by Tony Fleeks, and the art is by Trish Forstner. Though I believe a sequel to this series is in the works, Stray Dogs comes to an end with this issue as our pack of ever-so-cute mutts take on their serial killer owner and try to gain redemption for their fallen owners and freedom for themselves. Drawn in a Disney-esque style, this is an unconventional and quite shocking little book. Something is Killing the Children, number 17, is from Boom Studios. The story is by James Tinian III, with art by Werther Del Edera. I've been plowing through volumes 1 and 2 of this series, catching up with the monster mayhem from James Tinian III, and I fully understand the hype behind this book. 
This is a great horror series filled with all kinds of ooky monsters, bold and not so bold monster hunters, and blood, carnage, and terror. If you have a chance, read the trades and find out why something is killing the children really is something. Finally, we have Batman Reptilian number one from DC Comics. The story is by the great Garth Ennis, and the art is by the equally great Liam Sharp. I believe this is a horror story focusing on Killer Croc. At least, that's what it seems to be. It's written by one of comics' best horror writers, and Liam Sharp's bold style is completely suited for horror as well, so this one might be a winner. I'm looking forward to devouring this one. Do any of these comics look interesting to you? What's your favorite horror comic on the shelves today? Let me know down in the comments. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be, stuck inside your